Lots of fun events continuing through the weekend, even in spite of the warmer than we like weather. Hey there, Laura. Hey there. It is pretty warm outside, Robbie, and I've got a special surprise for you as we look at our spooky Halloween forecast. Well, we will be anticipating some rainfall back into the region. Again, we are looking at first alerts in effect into your Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, which is Halloween because, well, thunderstorms are back. Temperatures will be in the 80s and eventually going back down into the 70s, which is some good news because I'm ready for some cooler fall like temperatures. Now I want to tell you where our next big weather maker currently is across the Pacific Northwest. You can see that swirling motion right here in the Pacific Ocean. It's starting to migrate into Canada, bringing a lot of those showers and some snow showers across the Cascades. Again, that's where it is right now. But as we continue into this upcoming week, it's really going to cause a ruckus as we continue to to see the forecast starting to spark up some showers and thunderstorms that will be likely. I'm going to go ahead and take you to Tuesday. You can start to see some of those showers develop in the afternoon probable. And then as we work our way into the day before Halloween, so Wednesday, we'll start to see some showers and thunderstorms ignite thanks to a frontal system that'll swing through and bring us a lot of heavy rainfall. Downpours will be expected, but by the time Halloween rolls around, we start to see some of that clearing thank goodness just in time for your trick-or-treat hour now the activity doesn't really go anywhere we continue to see more of that activity as we roll through the rest of the weekend bringing us a decent amount of rainfall and the potential for even some flooding concerns for those low-lying areas again precipitation will be back so something to keep in mind it has been exceptionally dry for october we're talking about 31 consecutive days without any rainfall last time we saw rain was unfortunately in September, September 25th, and it was only a tenth of an inch. We have an ongoing drought, and unfortunately, when we do see this low pressure system swing through into your Monday, really gusty winds will be expected. Wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour will be likely again Monday. Headed into your Tuesday, wind gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour will also be likely. That's going to increase the fire danger, so please avoid any activities that may cause a spark or a flame into Monday and Tuesday and why we have first alerts in the forecast. Today's highs will be back into the mid 80s. It's going to feel really great outside and a way above what we typically see for this time of the year. That trend continues into Monday and Tuesday. But again, first alert days into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, thanks to that frontal system that will be swinging through. But hey, at least we are clearing things back up in time for trick or treat time, Robbie. Love that graphic. Frankenstein doing a running man. I'm just so I'm just Thank done. You. That's made my day. Thank yeah. you, Laura. All right now.